What inspired Leaf's name? How many kids do we want? 12 feels like a lot. Has it been fairly easy to find baby names that you both love? Are we gonna move soon? The nitty gritty about what sort of things we fight about or argue about. video suggestions you guys are always asking me to do another couples Q&A and we just never get around to it but today we're gonna do it we're gonna answer your questions I put a question box on my Instagram and you guys send in a lot of questions we're never gonna get to all of them but um, a lot of them were repetitive so we're gonna definitely hit on those and then answer as many as we can. This Q&A is a little bit different. I'm doing it more vlog style because we are actually on our way out to the mall. We're running some errands and the boys love going to the mall. They just, it's so exciting for them. So we're gonna run over there and let them march around the mall for a while. Um, and I'm gonna be answering your questions as we go. So we are going to just dive right in. I'm sorry if everything's a little shaky because we're driving, so. Okay, what inspired Leaf's name? <laughs> It had to be short. Yeah. We, we, we have Callan and Miles, and we wanted the third name to just be kind of like a little caboose, like a short little caboose on there. <laughs> had to be short and someone we didn't know. Yeah, we don't, we like names that are uncommon. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily unheard of, just uncommon. Yeah. Um, and I've always liked the name Leaf. I actually I came actually across it as, yeah, yeah, as a I'd teenager. Like and I remember telling my mom that I wanted to name my son Leaf. We are both really happy with Leaf's name. Someone asked if we would film another controversial topics video. <laughs> Haven't you seen enough of those? <laughs> yeah, we people send in with their controversial takes, and then we just like added our opinion. Those are hard though. Tell me. To, yeah, those are hard. It'd be fun again though. It really would be. How many kids do we want? I don't know. At least three. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like three is good, and then the next time I'm like, you know, might have another one. Might have another two. I don't know. When we were dating, she said she wanted 12 kids. Yeah, I did. Then she had kids, so now it's not 12 now anymore. Now it's not 12 anymore. <laughs> However, I do love like big family culture. I think it's so fun. Is it hard having babies so close together? Okay, favorite date night idea. Date nights aren't as extravagant as they used to be because For we've sure. got kids, and so we try to keep them short because we don't like to leave them all evening because we miss them. We just like trying out like fun new restaurants and stuff. So that's yeah. kind of that's kind of we stick with. Then we'll put yeah. go home, put the uh, kids to bed, and watch a movie or something. So our favorite like actual dates are probably including the boys. Like yeah. even like tonight, like running yeah. past the mall because the boys love going to the mall. Like that's a fun date for us. Like we enjoy that so much. But I would say my favorite date night is several times a week. We will intentionally put the boys to bed early, and then we'll have snacks. We'll play a game or watch a show. Um, we'll just like carve out some extra time just for the two of us um, on a random evening and that is always so fun. That's my favorite, honestly. How old are you? Have you always lived in Indiana? Hey, I'm 24 and yes, I have always lived in Indiana. Now like five miles from where I grew up, so. Yeah. Uh, but then Kim is from Michigan and I moved her here. I'm 24 as well. Someone asked if I still play violin and does Daryl play an instrument? So I started taking violin lessons again um, after Miles was born. First of all, my violin broke and needs to be repaired. And so, yeah, I still haven't gone back to it. I want to play again, but I am spread a little thin these days. So it's not that I don't want to play, it's that it's really hard to prioritize it right now. And he does and not play I do not. I wish I would have. <sighs> I wish I would. I wish I would have learned how, but I yeah. again, it was never on the top list of priorities. Okay, this is interesting. What are your goals as a couple in ten years, Lord willing? In ten years, we'll have adolescent boys and all that fun stuff that comes with that. But um, obviously, you want to have a very well-functioning family, um, yeah. like a oiled machine you know our biggest goal is to be a role model a husband and a wife role model for our boys as they grow up and obviously we don't want to lose ourselves in having a family yeah. um, we want to make sure we're still husband and wife before mom and dad so yeah. that's our goal but uh, um, yeah all the good things I'd say for myself I'm just excited to see where our relationship is gonna be in 10 years because the last 
five years have been really, really good. And every year I feel like we grow and mature a little bit in our relationship, as you should. Um, but I'm just excited to see where we're gonna be in 10 years. It's pouring rain. It's pouring, so I hope it's not too loud. Okay, someone asked, um, is it hard having babies so close together? Someone just asked me about this today. Like, is it hard to have, you know, three boys that are like, you know, under two and a half years old? And honestly, I told him if, if I would have had three firstborns, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> but it seems like after you have two, they become their own little system. Like, like Callan and Miles play together, and honestly, Leaf already like engages with them too. Yeah. And so it's kind of like raising a little tribe instead of raising three right. individual children. You look at it as a whole. We do want to treat them as individual beings and right. like with their own personalities, etc. But like it is like raising them as a right. group a little bit. They're kind of raising each other almost. But it's not like you take your firstborn then take the workload times three. No, it's, it's really not. Like not. That. It's I think not. I think that's a common misconception too. I think people look at us with our three young children and they're like, oh my goodness, like that's that workload times three, but it's it's truly not. I or, think that's how it gets as you get Maybe more. we're just numb to the pain. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> just been... We're just used to not sleeping. <laughs> our nerves of steel. <laughs> that is not true. We sleep very well. We do, good. actually. Our boys Whatever. do really good. They're very well I sleep trained. I cannot complain no. about the sleep front. What is your favorite part of the day? For me, probably just the coming home from work, seeing everybody again. I mean, it's a pretty classic answer, but that's kind of the truth. It's yeah. just really cool. End of the work day and come home and hang out with the boys and Kim, obviously. Yeah. For sure, my favorite time of the day is when he gets home. <laughs> <laughs> time sure. to share the load. For sure. Okay, do your boys get more excited about airplanes or fire trucks? Oh, airplanes, <laughs> definitely far. airplanes. Yeah, Bye. I don't know, they have this like, it's it's crazy, they make airplanes out of everything. Oh, they'll be, they'll throw Play-Doh across the room and call it an airplane oh, and think that goodness. makes it okay. Yes. <laughs> So someone asked if I still wear glasses. I, ugh, I get this question all the time. Yeah, tell them. <laughs> so when I was pregnant with Leaf and I would like wear my glasses, I was noticing that I was getting headaches and they were worse when I would wear my glasses. Well, it turns out your prescription can change a lot while you're pregnant. And so I quit wearing them. And um, since I'm postpartum, I feel like my eyes are kind of like going back to needing glasses, but I do want to go to the eye doctor soon and um, see if my prescription has changed because even now, like wearing my glasses is, it makes my eyes and my head hurt more than not. So I feel like I do need to go to the eye doctor again, but last time I went to the eye doctor, it did not work out well for me, so I'm just putting it off. She just hates glasses. Oh, I think she looks good in them. I hate glasses Whatever. so much. Do you have a favorite sports team? Um, I'm so bored by sports, but Daryl can go ahead and answer this one. <laughs> I mean, not really. I watch football. Yeah, some, and I actually um, enjoy watching football with him. I will say I've that. I've actually gotten Kim some, like, I she actually am, tolerates watching football I games. am kind of getting into football, and I hate myself for it. <laughs> but uh, favorite team, maybe Kansas City Chiefs, not for the Taylor. I was a fan of them before the whole Taylor Swift thing. Uh, okay, see, I'm every, not a Swifty. I'm not a Swifty. <laughs> I am not. Swifty. Every single Kansas City Chiefs fan always will specify that. Uh, Why well, I was a fan before Taylor Swift started dating Travis Kelsey. I, and here's the thing I'm not like a diehard fan. For, I don't own a single jersey, but neither am I just like, I just hope both teams have fun. Like, I'm not at that level, but I'm like kind somewhere of at in that between. Level. <laughs> <laughs> like, personally, I'm rooting for whichever team is winning. I'm like, they're doing a great job. <laughs> My sons are going to be so embarrassed by me, but I did tell Daryl I'm raising these boys and I know that they are going to love watching football because Daryl likes watching football. So I need to like educate myself so that <laughs> when these boys are like watching football, I can say something really smart and they're going to be like, wow, that yeah. mom of ours, yeah, she's really smart. That'll happen. That'll happen. She's really smart. <laughs> What's your favorite way to encourage each other in your parenting? Okay, so the way that I feel like the most encouraged by Daryl is when he like comes home from work, notices that I am really worn out from the day. Like some days are worse than others. Like sometimes these toddlers, I'll tell you what, <laughs> they just drain you. We got three boys. It's, oh my it's goodness. A thing. Um, I just when he comes home, notices that I'm worn out, and then just like takes over and just 
does the things. I just, yeah, I feel very encouraged by that. Obviously, we don't ever like contradict each other in front of the boys as yeah. far as parenting goes. This one's sweet. Favorite things about each other. And feel free to go into depth. Go into depth. <laughs> I don't know. It's a long list. I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, where do you start, right? Pro any married couple probably gets this way, especially after being married for a while. But, like, we just get each other. And, like, she understands what I'm thinking. And without me really saying it, or, like, if I'm having a bad day, she can tell. Like, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's just things that come with marriage. It's just really cool. And uh, you don't get that really outside of a long committed relationship yeah. um, so that, that's really neat and that's that's probably my favorite thing that I don't have to over explain myself because she just gets it I know this is cheesy but probably my favorite thing is that he makes me laugh I enjoy people that can not only make a joke off the top of their head but can also take one like a champ and he can do both do you truly like happy juice or is it just something you have to say and how's the happy juice for kids? Let me just say this. I will never market something to you. I will never promote something to you. I will never share something with you unless I love it. And let me just say that when a brand wants to work with me, I put that at the forefront of our collaboration is that if I don't love it, I will be honest about that. And that's a chance that they take when they work with me. And that's just the way it is. I decided that from the very beginning and I have stuck with it. So yes, I, I do love Happy Juice. Like the stuff is for real. It works. It has helped me in a lot of ways. Um, I'm not saying it works for everyone. Different experiences. And I've had some people say they didn't love it. But the majority of people have had really good results. As far as the Happy Juice for Kids, my kids have been taking it for a while and I'm actually super happy with it. We have a whole line of kids products. We're actually going to try a couple of more and yeah. see which other ones. We just used, I think it was like the Mood Plus The or Kids something. Mood Plus is what we um, have on So we're going to try like, there's a whole pack you can get. And so we're yeah. going to try that. Kind of impartial when it comes to the drink itself. It's like, I don't really care. I'll drink whatever. But uh, um, the results of it, I drink it yeah. for the results. I don't drink yeah. it just because I like drinking the drink. Right. I drink it because I like the results. It's yeah. good, but... It's not something where I'd buy it just because I like the taste. Right. I, I've been impressed. Like coffee kind of makes me like get like this afternoon slump and happy yeah. juice won't do that. So yeah. hey, I'm here for it. It's easy. So I just I like it. We we yeah. kinda we kinda fell in love with we it. We really and, uh, did. Uh, which is really good because it's honestly it's not it's not a cheap option no um, so. if you're unfamiliar with what i'm talking about happy juice um is a gut health drink that i have been taking yeah i've been really happy with it i'll put a link in the description box of this video if you're curious about what i'm talking about the boys are singing in the back seat of our vehicle so that's what all the background noise is that is a two-year-old singing yeah so not a lot of tune, but they sure do try. They do try. Has it been fairly easy to find baby names that you both love? I don't um, know if it's just a, like a girl thing or what, but for nine months, it's it's me getting texts of baby names. <laughs> What's super interesting is with all three of them, we've like thrown around all of these different names, right? And nothing has felt right. And then all of a sudden, like spur of the moment, one of us will say like a name and we'll be like, oh, that feels right. That's the one. Like Daryl picked Miles' name out. So I wouldn't say we've struggled. No, I don't. Think but so. I do say we lollygag. We've never been. <laughs> take our good time. We've we've never been like in the hospital like needing a name. No. So. That stresses me out. I've heard of people doing that where like they don't have a name until literally their baby is born, and I'm like, are you okay? That's kind of where like the bobs come from. <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> Bob is a perfectly good name. Do you think AI will hurt us or help us? Personally, it freaks me out. I think there's there's some really neat things that AI can do to help. But, um, oh, yep, you're right, Callan, this is it. Yep. <laughs> we just got them all. I think AI has a really big potential to be extremely harmful. Just like every good new technology, it gets twisted to use for, for bad things. I don't think there's much we can do about it other yeah. than not become reliant on it. Yeah, personally, I'm freaked out by AI. I find it wildly terrifying. And here's the thing, they say that like, you will fear the things you don't understand. And I think that's what scares me is like, I can't comprehend the vastness of its potential. Like I can't right. comprehend. But it is like the idea of it being able to manipulate photos and yeah, videos. Yeah, like that's what scares me. We could always just join the Amish. We could always just become Amish. I mean, yeah, a horse could. and buggy is completely unhackable, I think. Unhackable? <laughs> okay, come with me, guys. Okay, you got this.
front. All right, you sit in the front. Miles, oh, that's not how you get in. All right, sit, there you go. You're in a fire truck, how fun. All right, yep, back up, here we go. All right. Yep, let's go eat. We're done at the mall and we're gonna be heading home. We're gonna be starting our bedtime routine, which actually brings us to our next question. What does your bedtime routine look like with three under three? And it's a lot to explain, so I'm actually not gonna go into depth, but I'm thinking about maybe doing a whole video about our evening routine with three under three because I feel like an evening routine is something that is constantly changing and evolving, especially in like this season of life. Um, and so I should film a video and just kind of update you guys on what our evening routine looks like because it is a sight. <laughs> Are we going to move soon? We live. Okay, correction. We love where we live. We do. I, I do. I love, I love our house. <laughs> Honestly, the thought of ever moving, it just makes me want to cry. We've planted roots and there's like no yeah. point in uprooting. But uh, I don't know. We There's places around the area that we kind of have our eye on that like if they ever sell, like we'd have a conversation yes. about it. Um, but we'd stay in this area just because we're close to my job and then obviously church yeah. and uh, my side of the family, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but uh, There is one house in this area that I told Daryl if it ever goes up for sale, I would love if we could buy it. I'm not gonna tell anybody which house that is. <laughs> I doubt it'll ever sell, but there's one house locally that if it sells, I'm keeping my eye on it. Like every time I drive by, I'm like, is there a for sale sign? Probably can't afford it anyway. <laughs> no, it's probably like way out of our budget. <laughs> the nitty gritty about what sort of things we fight about or argue about. First of all, we don't really fight, okay? There's a difference between disagreeing and fighting. We stop the disagreement 
before it gets to fighting because fighting it doesn't solve any problems it just makes more things for you to have to apologize for so we try to avoid that but we do disagree sometimes because we're two different people with different personalities different character flaws there's not like just one thing that we just perpetually argue about that I that comes to mind anyway the biggest cause of conflict maybe it's probably like scheduling clashes due to like lack of communications. The one thing that I get on his case about the most, the way this man drives. She trusts me with her life in an airplane, but you put it on a road and it's like. Oh my goodness, you freak me out the way you drive. And I drive very absentmindedly, I will. He does. That. Oh my goodness. Like literally 10 minutes ago, he's just like cruising up to a red light. Like with the full intent to just. Breaks you were hand. you were planning on going through that light. <laughs> I mean, no. Yeah. Like, I would have eventually stopped. Uh, there you go. That's that's probably driving. The... Okay, driving is so boring. Uh... Driving is so boring. I find it hard to concentrate. <laughs> it's so and that boring. Is so true. I can't stand driving. That is true because you drive just like you're bored stiff. Yeah, it, it's exactly what it is. I'm just like this is so dumb. Like I'm just so sitting here bored making that you my get new... sloppy. Yeah, exactly. At least flying, there's something to do, and there's always buttons to push. Oh. You're pushing my buttons. Yeah, well. There you go. That's probably it. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little spontaneous Q&A. Um, we had a fun evening at the mall with the boys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with us this evening. And don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> Um, Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.